What's up, Leo? Yeah. And living that talking head. Coming to you live with Daigo, your of games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? Shit, sure, I'm alright, homie. So, what are we doing today, my man? Well, Ed, today we're going to attempt to get Portal in VR. Oh, man, yeah, Portal 2 in VR. Man, that mod is fantastic. Yeah, it is, but we're going to attempt to get the original Portal in VR. Say what? And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in 3... 2... 1... Oh no. No portal yet. You don't want to play this flat. Like your chest, you... No. You want to play in full volume speed. Done you. Okay then. You're at the enrichment center. We have just the install guide for you. You must own Portal and Gary's mod. They are always on sale, and cheap, like you. Firstly, in the description open the link to the VR mod. Subscribe to it and download the module. Run the module bat file and follow the instructions on screen. Even a pro magnet like you can do that. Now, run Gary's mod in the gameless map portal. Load a map. On your keyboard, press the tilt key. The tilt key. It's a weird key with three symbols nobody uses. When the console appears, type VR mod. Press enter. The VR menu will appear. Choose your settings. Congratulations. It appears you possess intelligence, who at least. Paint by numbers. Next. Go to the description of Rofide Games video. We'll see links to workshop files. Go ahead and subscribe to the mods. May as well subscribe to Profide Games too. Optionally, if you want to play as Shell, aka yourself, and why would you even want to be you? Press E on the keyboard and choose her. When you restart the game, you will be you. You have my sympathies. Lastly, download the config file from the description and paste it into your Gary's mod folder. Create a backup if you like first, or don't. You will likely screw it up anyway. You can't expect much. It's like trying to explain nuclear physics to a baboon. Okay, assuming your brain did not melt out of your ears trying to follow that. You are ready to play in VR. Okay, so this is actually in response to Portal 2 VR mod. It's a prize dropped a few days ago. Everyone and their sister is playing it. It's fantastic. Even in these early stages, the game is so polished, the mod is so good. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one.
But I have seen so many comments from people saying, I'm not going to play it yet. So what? Yeah. I mean, there's a whole generation of people who haven't experienced Portal, and there are people who've been waiting for VR mods for the Portal series. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So I've got these people, and I see them all over. I see them on Facebook, I see them on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, Reddit, everywhere. They're saying they're going to hold off, they're going to wait for this Portal 1 VR mod, which apparently has been developed, but they're waiting for Valve to give them the go-ahead. They've written to Valve, but Valve have not responded. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. So they're sitting on it, they're waiting. So apparently there is a mod already created, they just cannot release it without Valve's blessing yet. Oh man, what? Yeah, yeah. So, all these people are holding off and playing Portal 2 VR mod because of that. And that made me sad. <laughs> it made me sad because it actually is possible, albeit in a hacky kind of janky way, it is possible to play Portal 1 in VR. It is? Yeah. Like, you can play the game start to finish. It's possible. And, I mean, GLaDOS back there gave us a guide on how to get it done. It's true Gary's mod. Gary's mod, oh. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary's mod is a very versatile, kind of sandbox version of the source engine that you can mess around with. And there have been people out there who've made game modules, who have made add-ons, this and that, for years already, trying to get Portal playable in Bjorn. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Now it turns out that the Portal game with Gary's mod is one of the hardest things to implement because of all the code, but it is working. Now is it 100% working? No, it's not 100% working. You can still play the game start to finish, but there are some puzzles that are broken. They just do not work. So for these, you will have to cheat a little bit and use the no clip to kind of get around these sections. Now, most of the puzzles work. I would say somewhere in the region of 80, 85% of the puzzles work as they are supposed to, but there are a few that you will have to use cheats to kind of get around. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science from your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. But it is possible to experience the entire story, and it is possible to enjoy the gameplay in VR. Now what's cool with this is, it uses Katzi's VR mod. So, you can get 6 degrees of freedom head tracking, 6 degrees of freedom motion controls, that means you can fire the portal gun anywhere you want. And it works, it just works. Now, here is another caveat. When you're going through portals, you do need to have some velocity for you. Welcome to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. If you just walk in, it might not work. Now, we have included a config file, which alters the walk speed. So you should be able to just breeze on through these portals. Now, it's optional. You don't need to put it in, but it's going to be a lot easier to get through the portals with this configuration file. Just be sure before you put it in to just back up anything. So, what is Portal? Well, Portal's premise is so simple. Use teleportation to solve puzzles and get around the maps. They start off simple and they get progressively more difficult, these puzzles. Now, on paper that sounds really, really simple, really, really easy. But technically, what the team had to do to get this up and running back in the day was nothing short of a miracle. It is a feat of coding. It is... Oh. It is technical perfection, the original Portal. And it is one of those things you have to experience. You just have to. There is nothing like Portal. Before Portal, there was nothing like Portal. There's been so many imitators since. But it has cult status, and for very, very good reason. It's just fantastic. Now, this VR implementation, it's a number of mods, in fact. It starts off with Gary's mod, and then you have the VR mod add-on on top of Gary's mod to get it into VR. And then there are a host of add-ons to make Portal work as Portal should. 
in VR. <laughs> so there are quite a few things, but follow the install guide. It's not that complicated. Just follow it step by step and you will be up and running in VR within 10 minutes. You'll be in the game. So yeah, you get a full 3D stereoscopy, six degrees of freedom, room scale, all of that kind of good stuff. It all works. Your portal shoots in six degrees of freedom as well. And that is just a game changer. It's fantastic. Now, some caveats. You will notice with the VR mod that reflections are completely broken. So if you look at mirrors, or if you even look through the portal itself, it's going to be broken. It's not going to work as it did in the original game. Not much you can do about that. There is a console command out there in the wild somewhere to disable that. So you just see a black void. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in 3, 2, Safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject Hong Kong here. But just be aware, reflections are kind of broken and I haven't found a fix for that at all yet. Also, when entering portals, you need to have some speed, but I addressed that with the config file. So if you install that config file, you don't really need to worry about that anymore. You can just walk on through the portals. But if you don't want to mess up your configuration of Gary's mod and you want to just play it the vanilla way, be sure to sprint before you go through a portal so that you get through the other side. Otherwise, you'll, you'll get trapped between portals and you won't be able to move. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Yeah. Now, as for the puzzle elements that are broken, these kind of include at the beginning of the game there are portals that open by themselves you don't use a portal gun for them they're a little bit broken because of the portal gun good now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock now you can get around them by simply spawning in a portal gun if you want to do or you can just use teleport or no clip to get around those sections another thing when you load into a new level like you can play the game start to finish and it'll go in sequence but when you load into a new level, you may start without the weapon, so you just need to select it from the Gary's Mod menu. And you can get your weapon that way. And by weapon, I mean portal gun. <laughs> and that way you can experience the original portal start to finish. Now, you know, this may open up a can of worms for you once you get into Gary's Mod in VR, because there is so much you can actually do. Like, if you wanted, you could have combine soldiers in here and you can fight them with your portal gun zombies you name it you you know it's limitless what you can actually do with gary's mod <laughs> it's a lot of fun in vr but the brief was let's get portal one playable in vr and that's what we have done now is it 100 percent perfect of course it's not if you want to wait for that portal one vr mod and for valve to get up off their asses and actually say yes to these people yeah you can go ahead and do that but if you want to play portal now this is a very viable way to do it and you know please know that we have added a consequence for failure any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck! It's a shame to hold off on playing Portal 2 because there's no Portal 1 yet, but it is what it is. At least this is an option for you guys if you want to try. You can get into Portal, you can get it into VR, and then you can play the Portal 2 VR mod because it is so good and it deserves your attention, you guys. It is amazing. Alright. I think that's enough uh, chin wagon. We're gonna leave it there, you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe. If there are any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like us to look at VR finding in the future, put those down below, and we will presumably get back to you. Yeah, VR fight games out. Yeah, VR fight games out. Yeah, the portals. I used that joke before, didn't I? Oh, shit.
Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism.